This week on Pop Fiction, Mayweather, Winter is Coming, Quantum Mania, KFC, 252 Recommends Something Cool, and a lot more. Mmm, that's going right there. Okay. Okay, this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you'll find all the news and reviews and pop culture that's right to type. Today's top story. Floyd Mayweather's World Boxing Exhibition Tour may be coming to an end as evidenced by images of nearly empty stadium. His most recent visit was at London's reowned O2 Arena, which has 20,000 seats, but only a few people were visible at the venue at just 15 minutes before a performance was scheduled to start. Okay. Well, I know why though. there's not a lot of seats taken. It's because all his fans are over here. <laughs> why go start on London? You finish so, at somebody London. Somebody invited a lot of empty chairs. Yes. So, I mean, Do you here's think the 50 thing. bought all the seats? Well, what's Floyd now? 40, 45 you, years did, old? I don't even know. No, I'm positive 50 bought all the seats. <laughs> like you did for Ja Rule? Yeah. Hey, Jeffrey, I'm waiting for the show to start. You ready? <laughs> yeah, man, it was, it was very, it was a lackluster performance to say the least. And I'm not even talking about the actual fight. I mean, like, it was barely anybody there. It looked bad. Yeah, it looked yeah. like COVID just hit. Yeah, no, well, you right never now. end at London. You, no, you never start at London. You end at London. <laughs> you end at London. All right. KFC has decided to remove popcorn chicken off its menu. Along with the popcorn chicken, KFC <laughs> is also discontinuing the following items. Strawberry lemonade. That hurts. Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Ooh. Nashville hot sauce Oof. and Kentucky Fried Chicken wings. Then what's the point of going <laughs> for the Long John Silver's? That's You're connected supposed to, it? to show up late in the <laughs> afternoon, ask for chicken, and they say they're out. Mm. That's yeah, the purpose that's, of the story. That's, that's, the, mm. that's basically <laughs> KFC is, is half half the restaurant that it used to be. Yeah, literally. I mean, yeah, I mean they're losing. They're losing the Popeyes. They're losing the Chick Fil A. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're just losing. They're taking L's all over. Yeah. I mean, they're still beating churches. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, <laughs> <laughs> how you gonna sell somebody a big ass bag of grease? <laughs> I don't know so <laughs> The winter weather is expected to hit the Bay Area in the coming days. Just days after snow fell in some areas up here in Northern California. For the very first time. Now, I don't know yeah. about you guys, but one, when it was hailing, yeah. I was like, this is the biggest hailstorm I feel like we've ever been in. It was coming down sideways. <laughs> I was vertical. in the car when it was hailing. Oh, man. Yeah. But I, I, I checked on the house. I was like, hey, is everybody okay? But the other day, I was driving to the gym, and I saw the snow on the hills. Yeah. On top of the hills. I'd never seen snow up there before. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> normally when we look, it's... Brown, brown and <laughs> with s- spots of, of green, and um, recently it's been black because of all the fires. <laughs> but yeah, it was looking like uh, Colorado out here. Yeah, I missed the drought. This week's review, <laughs> Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Media. Exploring the quantum realm, Ooh. <laughs> interacting with strange new creatures, and going on a journey that tests their nah, preconceived notions. <laughs> Of what is possible, Ant Man and the Wasp discover themselves. So that's a wordy phrase to say that they finished it all in one day. <laughs> I mean, Rome the, couldn't do it, but Ant Man and the Wasp could. <laughs> you know, I, I, without a whole bunch of spoilers, um, I mean, the the Rock was not impressed. Uh, I, I watched the movie; it was okay. It was pretty good. It was okay. Yeah. I give it. I give it a, give it a, a C plus B minus. Pretty, well, here's the thing. The, 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 good. the one thing that I had that was the biggest problem for me because it, it really felt like the actors were just acting in front of a green screen. Like there was no real connectivity going around. They were just doing their lines. <laughs> And running. <laughs> what, do you want them to be in the quantum realm? I'm just saying. You know it, what? It, it just really seemed that way. And, you know, I, I had a couple of couple of little things here and there. Um, well, if you look Modoc, Modoc was unimpressive. He was silly. It was bad. Mm-hmm. Modoc, was Modoc. Some repetitive dick jokes. Or Modoc. Modoc. For, for the for people no. who watched the film. <laughs> I mean, if this is, oh, we're going. If this is. I'm just gonna say, if this is phase five, I mean, it's I see the end what of they're. Phase four. Is the, this is the beginning of phase five? I believe. Is it? 
Yeah, so let's face let's face. see what's let. I mean, I mean, I'm still in. I'm still in. I understand that there is that superhero fatigue, and I, I can I can feel it. Oh, really? I can feel it. You want me to tell you something? These movies aren't made for you, <laughs> Jack. Yeah, I, I know. I might have been They're made for the little ones that you brought in who enjoyed the film. They did. They did. Mm. But me, I was like. See this negative Nancy attitude? I don't need it. No, man. I need bro, 10 I was, more I was, years, I was, man. 10, 10 more. more years. I, 10 that's more years, the other man. thing I'm saying. I'm seeing the Young Avengers. They've been building the Young Avengers for a couple of years now. I'm excited. Wow. Well, let's see. Because I don't even know who they are. So let's see. <laughs> well, they're telling you. You just got to keep your eyes open. This week, what does JB remember? Uh, this week, JB remembers the Swatch Watch. Oh, wow. <laughs> 1983 Swiss company <laughs> called Swatch, <laughs> yeah. which is a contraction of Second Watch, mm. I, decided... I did, not know I did not know that either until about five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, released a line of what they called casual disposable watches. They were made of plastic, cheap materials, and people loved them. They, they were... You with all of the fads. <laughs> this is gonna prove that it. Yeah, with all of the fads of the '80s, I think the Swatch Watch was one of those um, weird landfill killers. <laughs> oh man! Huh. And they had screen protectors. Remember? And no. a protector to go over the First glass of all, face. As cheap as a Swatch Watch was, yeah. I could not afford a Take Swatch Watch. Four thirty-five. Could I? <laughs> yeah. Straight to the garbage. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Swatch watches. I remember them. They were in pastel mm -hmm. colors. Yeah. They had little uh, face protectors people would wear. And now the only time you see face protectors and people wear watches when they're eye watches. Mm -hmm. And so they were probably the last big, big fan in, in as far as kids go for watches because now it's thing the past. Yeah. I mean... Whatever happened to this Swatch? Was it, it was a Swiss company? They're still going. Shut still, up. Still, they make they make high end watches. They always did make high end watches. They just released this crap line, and the, but it's and sullied the, the name Swatch forever. Yes, <laughs> the name has been sullied. Yeah, forever. I, I've been looking at pictures of these beautiful, expensive Swatch watches that I've oh, never seen it. here, never seen in a store. Mm -hmm. The fad was the cheap ones that were meant to be thrown away. <laughs> this week, 252 recommends Knock at the Cabin. I've actually seen this. A young girl and her parents are held captive by formed armed strangers while on holiday at a remote cabin in the woods and forced to make an impossible decision to stop the end of the world. The family must choose what they believe before everything is lost because they are confused, afraid, and have little contact to the outside world. Um, yeah. So, that's first, the entire plot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the problem. You shouldn't just preface with, with spoilers. No, 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 no. I, no, I mean, no. I, it's I, the first five minutes of the movie. You can't do <laughs> prophecy movies because you know how it's going to end. The prophecy is You true. know how it's going to go. You know how it's going to end. It's like, okay. Well, what if they said no? And and just because watching this, it play out. All right, I'm going to say this. Because this was an M. Night Shyamalan movie, I thought there was going to be a twist at the end. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> what happened, happened. happened. And I would have to say the one of the one of the things that I will take from this that was I thought was good was Dave Bautista's performance. Oh, he was very because we're so used to seeing him I, I, as you know. I, I, everyone was very good in that movie. Yeah, yeah. all the actors yeah. are strong. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's not even in my show. It's a prophecy movie. Don't do prophecy movies because. You the know. one guy had me convinced, though. There was a part in the movie where the one guy was like, man, that's why he's looking at his watch. He uh, has all the stuff timed out. Yeah. He's doing this, he's doing that. And I was like, yeah, that's you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's, uh, maybe yeah, it was. What is no. What did they call it? They all uh, was <laughs> sipping that Kool-Aid. What did they call it? It was like mass a cult. Hysteria. A mass hysteria. A cult? No. Yeah. Oh, it's like uh, the omen. Damien's going to live. No matter how many omens they make, he always lives in the end. I know how the movie ends, so why watch it? Well, two things I found out about that movie. The first one being Dave Bautista has Wu Tang symbol. Oh yeah, movie. I saw and that too. And number two, the M in M Night Shyamalan starts or is mid. I'm Kane, and that's news to it's me. What mid mid, mid Night, Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. I'm Kanan, and that's news to me. <laughs> oh, cool, to Kurt. That's my story. And he stole that joke. It's not my joke. I said it's something I learned. <laughs> yeah, you stole it. <laughs> no, I didn't steal it. Well, I'd also like to hear what some people in the world think. 
Uh, leave us a comment down below and let your opinion be heard. And if you like this video, please check out other videos on our channel. I'm JB. I'd like to give a shout out to my man AM at Comics Most Wanted. And this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you hear it. First, Happy it's, it's on the table. Happy birthday, hug. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, uh, Adonis, pull yourself together. Pull together. Pull together.